Hello, Luis. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am doing great. Very happy to see you. Hey, we are in uniform today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, we are the, the orange team today. <laughs> ¿Cómo pasó el fin de semana? Bien, gracias a Dios, trabajando. Yo trabajo bueno. sábado, domingo, lunes, martes, veras. miércoles, jueves, viernes. Uy, chica. 24, <risa> bueno, no, no 24, 7, pero casi. Ah, hasta las 11. <risa> <risa> Así es. Sí, okay. trabajamos ahí todo el sábado, todo el domingo, pero todo sea por la educación. <risa> Siempre por la educación. Sí, fíjese, fíjese, teacher, ya que estamos, eh, realmente sábado y domingo no le, no, no quise escribir porque dije yo, por lo menos darle vacación. <risa> <risa> no, no tenga pena, yo ahí estoy pendiente siempre de, Así es. de en, los mensajes, dígame. En las preguntas finales o, o el examen final, el B. Ajá. Es, son, quiero ver, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, son seis. Ajá. El segundo que es el B, tengo do, dos, son cinco preguntas, la, la cuatro y la cinco no doy, ¿qué es? Fíjese. Ok, este. Es la que comienza con, are you parents in Perú? Ajá. Vale, Entonces, quiero ver. Ahí... La cuatro y... ahí es el número cinco, no sé si la tiene en su computadora, ¿lo puedo sí. compartir? Sí, la sí. vemos. Ok, eh, para compartir, no sé cómo es dicho. Ahí tiene una flechita que dice compartir pantalla, abajo en, la, en, la, en las opciones, en las opciones de Zoom, tiene donde está participante, ah, okay, chat, pero, todo, ajá, hay uno permítame. que dice compartir pantalla. Uh, está la, al menos yo la tengo a la parte de chat. Ah, screen, char, screen. Ajá, share screen, there you go. Share screen. Ok, uh, aquí está. Hello everybody, welcome. Okay, are they from England? Where are you from? Uh, I think she's 22, how old is she? Good. No, my first language is in Spanish, it's, per it's Portuguese. In that case, it's a yes, no question. You say like, is your first language, is your first language Spanish? Is your first language Spanish? Okay, y las cinco? Uh, yes, I am Japanese. I, I am from Tokyo. In that case, are you? Are you Japanese? Are you Japanese? Okay, uh -huh. teacher. Ahí tiene el Japanese. Póngala si quiere para ver si Ahorita. funciona. Is your first language? Ahí la tenía en la opción. Ahí estaba la primera. Is your first language Spanish? Y el sí. question mark, ¿verdad? Are you Pero, Japanese? Uh -huh. el, el question mark le faltó en la, en la pregunta. Ok. En la anterior. Are you Japanese? Ahí está. No, quítale el from. Ok. Are you Japanese? Y le pone el, la pregunta, el signo de pregunta. Y a la otra también. Is your first language Spanish? Y al final le pone el signo de pregunta. Y ahí está. Del enviar. Ok. Perfecto. Perfect. Perfect. Gracias, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, my dear class, welcome uh, to another day together, another opportunity to learn. I hope you had a very beautiful weekend. And for sure, I hope you uh, practice a lot. I hope you uh, advance. All of you finish your platform. Eh, algo importante que hay que recalcar es que como recuerden que sus clases son de lunes a jueves, siempre cuando terminen una sección tiene que ser terminada antes del jueves. Yo les mencionaba la semana pasada y el día miércoles, mañana tenemos que estar terminados, mañana tenemos que terminar, para que ustedes no tengan ninguna dificultad al momento de que revisen su progreso. Siempre procuren terminarlo eh, rápido. Ahora me imagino que ya avanzaron la sección 4, este, si ya terminaron la cuatro, avancen la cinco para que no tengan que, que ir este, quedándose atrás en el aprendizaje. Hay muchos que ya terminaron la plataforma. Excelente. Al terminar su 80% de asistencia, pues ahí ya este, ustedes tienen ya la oportunidad de, de completar todo. Y obviamente, pues ustedes van a obtener eh, su certificado también. ¿Ok? Me imagino que también ya hicieron la papelería para el siguiente módulo. 
a muchos de ustedes ya les llegó eh, para inscribirse al siguiente, así que para que lo tengan todo listo y todo completo, ¿verdad? para que no se les atrase nada y no andemos ahí al final corriendo, teacher, me falta esto, me falta aquello. Siempre procuren trabajarlo de lunes a jueves porque esos son sus días de clase. ¿verdad? Así ustedes también descansan pues su día viernes, que obviamente es su día libre, entre comillas. ¿verdad? Su día libre, porque sé que el, el inglés lo practican todos los días. Así que chicos, este, hay que, eso hay que tenerlo muy en cuenta, hay que tenerlo bastante en cuenta de que ustedes pues desarrollen eh, la plataforma antes, ¿verdad? que ustedes la desarrollen antes y que obviamente ustedes la vayan avanzando de manera ordenada. Ok, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta chicos, alguna duda, algún comentario sobre eso. No, todos la avanzaron, me gustó que todos estuvieron ayudando ahí el día jueves, el día viernes, me faltaba esto, me falta aquello, no sé qué, ayuda, ayuda. Y todos ahí se apoyan. Y eso es muy, muy bueno. Porque ustedes van creciendo ahí juntos como un equipo de trabajo. <coughs> Espero que no esté viviendo muy recio ahí por sus casas. Y que toda nuestra clase sea con normalidad. Ok. Welcome to another day, another class. And we are going to work a lot today. We are going to practice a little bit on the numbers. We are going to practice adjectives, colors, and other types of vocabulary and for sure we are going to practice a little bit of questions right so this was the last thing we did in the previous class right the different numbers right we know the numbers from one to ten we learned them when we were practicing the telephone numbers right and we learned that zero it's O in the telephone numbers in the normal numbers is zero but now i have here the numbers from one to 100. In this case, the most difficult part of these numbers are this section, right? From 12 to 19, because of the pronunciation. Because many people say 12, 13, 14, 15, and that's incorrect, right? So no, 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 you don't have to mention it like that. In this case, we have 11, right? 11. We have 12, 12. Remember the pronunciation of the letter V. It's like this, you say 12, right? With V, 12. And this one you say 13, right? And the strongest voice is at the end, right? Say 13, 14, 15, right? You don't say 15, because if you, if you put the strongest part at the beginning, it's the other number, right? It's 50, right? This one is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right? That's the pronunciation of them. Can you practice with me? You say 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 13. 13. 13. Say 13. 13. 13. 13. Okay, this one is not 13, 13. right? 13. No, this is 13. 14. Say 13. 13. 13. 14. 14. 14. 14. 15. 15. 16. 17, 17, 18, 18, 18, 19, 19, 19, 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. On the contrary, you say 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. This one is 30. 30. 30. Excellent. 30. 40. 40. 40. 50. 50. 60. 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 80, 90, 100, 100, 100, Okay, so in this case, the strongest part is here, right? Cuando mencionamos esos terminados en teen, 
la fuerza de voz va al final, decimos 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right? But when you mention the contrary, right? When you when you mention like the 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 well the similar number but in a bigger amount, you say 30, right? The strongest voice goes at the beginning, right? You don't say 30. Say 30. The next one is 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, right? The, the strongest part is at the beginning. En la segunda, la fuerza de voz al principio. Hacemos 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, right? And on the other ones, it's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay? Ahí hacemos la diferencia. Para que no me diga que usted tiene 50 years old cuando en realidad tiene 15. Ok, imagínense que usted tiene eh, 18 y me va a decir, I am 80. Oh, tienes 80, pero no se te nota. Right? I am, you say, 18, 19. If you are 20 something, there's no problem, right? So you say 20, 21, 22. It's not 20, ok? It's 20. 20. 20. And you say 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Don't say 2010, okay? 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And then you say 41, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 100, you say 101, 100 and one, right? You can use it like that. 150, 140, 170, right? Now my question is for everybody. How old are you? How old are you? And in this case, you say I am, right? I am. Don't say I have. I am, you say. In this case, you say I am. And you tell me I am... Uh, 21, 22, 23, 40, 41, 42, etc. Jose Alexander, how old are you? I am 22 years old. 22? Yes. Okay. Maria Teresa, how old are you? I am your... 30? 30. 30. 30. 30. Yeah. I am 30 years old. Jorge? I am 34 years old. 34. Mr. Luis? I am 44. 44. Leticia? I am 37 years old. 37. Very good. Marlon? I am 31. 31, 31 years old. Nelson? I am 27 years old. 27. Jennifer? Jennifer Tatiana? I am 27 years old. Okay, you say I am 27 years old. Maria Guadalupe? Uh, I am 27 years old. 27. Norma, how old are you? I am 40, 46. 46. Carla Lisette? I am 21 years old. 21. Catherine Portilla? I am 23 years old. 23. Let's see. Uh, Josue Mejia? I am 21 years old. 21. Lucia Fernanda? Lucia Fernanda, how old are you? Se busca, se busca Lucia Fernanda. No está en el micrófono. And 
<clears throat> Rodrigo Alvarado, how old are you? Hi, teacher. I am 31 years old. 31. 31. Okay, good. And your teacher is? How old is your teacher? Forty-two. Oh, exactly in the oldestness. <laughs> no, I am not forty-two. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Thirty-one. Ah, oh, okay. I'm thirty-one. I'm okay. Thirty-four. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I don't have freckles still, and I and I don't have wrinkles, right? So I no tengo arruga. Yeah. This is... I am 37, 37 years old. Yeah, I have been a teacher for 19 years, come on. <laughs> Yo sé que empecé todavía, ya cuando tenía ocho. <laughs> Good, so that's the way you give your age, right? You say, I am, right? And you give the number, years old. Never use I have, because in this case, with the American form, you say I am because you are living the years. You don't actually have the years. You cannot say, I have 30 years, look. No, right, because we cannot keep them. No podemos retener los años, solo los, bebi los vivimos, los bebimos. <laughs> solo los, los viven. Algunos se los beben, pero otros no. It's okay. So you say, I am, I am 21, 40, 41, 30, 30, right? Not 30, right? 30. Good, so that's that's the question in that case. Let's continue here. Here we have the different sets of questions that we use with WH. With the WH forms, as I was explaining in the previous class, we add extra information, right? We give extra information far from the yes, no questions that we were creating, like, are you from El Salvador? Are you from Peru? Are you from Cuba? Yes or no. But are you happy? Are you sad? Yes or no? In these ones, when you have the WH forms, cuando tenemos las formas de WH, what, where, how, right? You can also have when, why, who, right? <clears throat> you give extra information. I can ask you, and you can tell me yes or no. I can ask uh, Leticia. Imagine, just to give an example. Leticia, is your second name Aide? Yes. Yes, it yes. is, right? Yes, it is. Yes, and it's it is. just like that. And no more information, right? But if I say, uh, imagine that I don't know. Hagamos de caso que no conozco a Leticia. Excuse me, what's your name? My name is Leticia. Ah, my name is Leticia. What is your last name? Uh, my last name is Flores. Where are you from? Uh, I am from El Salvador. How old are you? I am 37 old years. 37 years old. Years old. Um, how are you today? Very nice. Very good. Hey, claps for Leticia. Very good. Very good. She survived the questions. So in this case, I am asking for a specific information, right? Imagine that I ask you, let's see, Marlon Mendoza. <clears throat> Where are you from? I am from Salvador. What is El Salvador like? What is El Salvador like? It's this question that I have here. What is El Salvador like? It's very, very beautiful. It is very beautiful. What other adjectives can you give to our country? ¿Qué otros adjetivos le podríamos poner a nuestro país? And don't tell me dangerous, okay? But that's very common. Linda. It's very small. It's very small. Very good. El Salvador is very small. In size, but big on people. What other adjective can you give me for the country? It's a small, it's, it's beautiful. Is yes, Linda. It's very hot. It's very hot. Lovely. 
No, 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 no. ¿Cuál, cuál adjetivo? It's very hot. Hot, like what? ¿A qué te Caliente. refieres? Ah, hot. 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 It's hot. very hot. It's a very hot country. Yes. It's a very hot country. Another adjective for El Salvador. It's a small, it's hot, it's beautiful. What else? Uh -huh. Give me more examples. Beautiful beach. It has, it has beautiful beaches, right? It's a little dangerous. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> a little dangerous, uh -huh. good, yeah, so those are the adjectives that we can use for our country. It's very, um, it's very historical, it's very crowded, crowded is como lleno, it's very crowded, it's very historical, it's very noisy, somos bien bulliciosos, aquí el país es bien bullicioso, por todos lados hay carros, hay buses, verdura, la verdura, el pan, etc. Right? It's a very noisy country, but it's very beautiful and very, um, it has various sources of beauty because we have mountains, we have lakes, we have beaches, we have uh, everything, right? We have a little bit of everything. So if I ask you about a person, to describe a person. Imagine that I want to ask you to describe your mother. How is your mother like? She is. Uh -huh. Es su mamá la para así. Uh -huh. Escribí. <laughs> Linda, how is your mother like? She is very happy. She's very happy. Okay. And she is very beautiful. She's very beautiful. She is very small. She's very short. Con las personas ocupamos short. Con los objetos ocupamos small. Short. She's short. Good. Because I have here a good example. I have two pencils, right? I have two pencils. But one is long and the other one is short, right? But in this case, we cannot say short. We say it is is small. This one is large and this one is small. Long, right? This is very long, but this is large and small or big and small, right? You have the two forms here. Okay. Is your mother beautiful? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Is your yes. mother a strict? Yes or no? Yes. A yes. strict is like, huh. Hey, mama. <laughs> right? Yes. I think all Salvadorian mothers are strict. Right? Like with one with one look, you know, right? It's like, uy, no, ya me vio. <laughs> it's like, no, okay. <laughs> and you are afraid of, of that eyesight. Like, hmm. And you understand everything. So, is your mother organized? Organizada, ordenada. Yes, she is. Yes, yes. So you say, yes, she is. Good. Yes. I have here, well, let me see before I move on on this one. I have here some examples of adjectives that you can use with people, right? Adjectives that you can use with people for appearance and for personality. And in this case, I have that the person has white skin. This is for appearance because you can actually see if a person has white skin or not. It has brown hair, right? The, the, the color of the hair is brown, right? It has brown hair. If the person is tall or if the person is short, right? Here you have the difference, tall and short. For the boys, you can use handsome. Guapo, right? Quiet. Calladito, right? Chubby. Rellenito, gordito, así bonito. Chubby. Friendly. This is an adjective for personality. 
because you don't know if a person is friendly or not until you meet the person. Hasta que no lo conocen, hasta que no hablan con él, no se pueden dar cuenta si es friendly o no. Porque lo pueden ver en la calle todo serio, pero ya cuando le hablan es bien buena onda. Es como un buena onda disfrazado. A little intelligent. So, with the adjectives, if you use very, you intensify it. A little, it's like un poquito. Un poco inteligente. It's like un poco inteligente, right? Or you can say that the person is really intelligent. It's very intelligent, right? You can say that the person is organized. A little organized or very organized or really organized. Ahí vamos intensificando el adjetivo. Puede que usted conozca a un chico y me dice, no, it's handsome. But it's different if you tell me. It's very handsome. And it's even more different if you tell me, no, teacher, it's really handsome. Right? On the levels of intensity increases. For the ladies, you can say that the ladies are beautiful, right? If the lady is beautiful, it's going to be different if you tell me, teacher, it's really beautiful, right? That it's out of the ordinary, right? Puede ser bonita, yeah, ya iba dos, tres. But if she is very beautiful, extremely beautiful, it's the difference, right? The same with pretty. Pretty is like, Eh, bonita, right? Beautiful is bella. Amazing is like wow, right? Amazing. <clears throat> Sorprendente. And then you can have, for example, sociable. Sociable, it's an adjective of personality. Talkative, that he talks and talks and talks. Ta -ta. Hablantín. <laughs> Hablador. <laughs> Habladores que habla de otro. <laughs> Hablantín, que habla mucho. Then next one you have serious, like your teacher, right? It's very serious. Rich, in this case, rich, it's for appearance and for personality. Because a person can look rich, right? Desde que lo ve, usted lo ve con super carro, super reloj, no sé qué, la ropa dice, he looks rich. Right? And for personality, it can be rich in personality, right? That, that he's actually rich. Famous, like all my students, right? Popular. What is the next one that we have here? Angry. angry. You have to make a difference between angry and hungry. Angry is when you are like, Argh. Hungry es cuando tiene hambre. Right? So that's that's the difference. In most of the cases, they are very good friends. Si su novia está enojada, probablemente tiene hambre. So, yeah. Casi siempre van de la mano. Angry and hungry. We have the other one, right? Hungry. Hungry es hambriento. Right? Like, ah. Like my students at the end of the class. They are very hungry. Very strict, right? Muy estricto. You can have white hair, right? Disorganized. It's the opposite of organized, right? Disorganized. Happy. Sporty. Sporty es que es muy, muy deportivo, ¿verdad? Que, que es muy bueno en los deportes, en fútbol, básquetbol y todo. Okay. The next one you have helpful. Helpful, muy colaborador, right? Active is the same as in Spanish. Kind, amable, loyal, leal, right? Got the, in this case, it's a good hearted. Good hearted is like the buen corazón. Thin, delgadito, right? Fat, it's the opposite. Gordo, gordito. In shape, in form. Good looking, bien parecido. Attractive is the same as in Spanish, right? In this one, you have like brunette skin, moreno, right? Dark hair, de pelo oscuro. A little tall, un poco alto, right? And in general, intelligent, right? Here you have 
big, small, right? This is what I was explaining with the objects, with the objects that I had. Shy is penoso, right? Timido. And smart, least, right? So if you can choose two adjectives to describe yourself, which one would you choose? And I need you to write the sentence in your notebook. You are going to say, I am, and you are going to choose the two adjectives, and you are going to say, I am not, and you are going to choose one. Van a escoger así. Van a poner, por ejemplo, aquí, las oraciones. I am, y van a poner dos adjetivos, y I am not, y van a poner uno. I can say, I am beautiful and sociable. I am not shy. That's one example. Okay? Write your examples. Escriban sus ejemplos. Cuando lo tengan, me levanta la mano y me lo comparte. Okay, I cannot see Lucia, I cannot see Rodrigo, Josué, and Catherine. I cannot see you in cameras. And for the rest, when you have it, raise your hand and tell me. Jorge, go ahead. I am friendly and friendly, organized, uh -huh. organized, organized, organized. I am not activity. I am not activity. Active. 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 <laughs> not active. It's like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you, Jorge. The next one. Who has it already? ¿Puede levantar la mano o puede levantar la mano en la cámara? Ahí en, el, en la plataforma. Thank you, Jose Alexander. Go ahead. Um, I am very slow and curious. And I'm not hungry. <laughs> you are not angry. Angry or hungry? Uh, I know how. Angry. Angry. <laughs> angry. Okay, I'm not angry. Very good job. Who's next? Hello, una pregunta. Uh -huh. La pronunciación de cabello es here. Here, hair, no. hair. This is hair. Um, Here es aquí. Yeah. Hair, yeah. pelo. Good. Okay. Nelson and Carla. I am helpful and friendly. I am not angry. Okay, you are not angry. Very good. Carla Lisset. I am pretty. I am angry and I am not dark hair. Okay, I am not dark hair. Okay, eh, but you're angry. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Norma Guadalupe, tell me. I am friendly. I am not angry. Okay, I am friendly. I am not angry. Very good. Linda. I am friendly. I am friendly. I am, I, am, I am serious. Okay, you are organized and you are not serious. Very good. Let's see, Mr. Luis Eduardo. I am happy, um, friendly. I am not serious. Very good. I am happy and friendly and I am not serious. Maria Teresa. I am good here. Organized. I am good hearted, angry. organized, and not angry. Very good, very good. Leticia. I am organized, organized and helpful. Helpful. Organized and helpful. Very good. Helpful. I am not famous. I am not famous. Yes, you are. <laughs> <todos la conocemos. laughs> Thank you very much. Let me see. Who's next? Marlon, go ahead. Hey, I am short, short and thin. I am not short, short. 
You are not? Chef, chef creo que es como... No estoy en forma. Ah, I am not in shape. Oh, come on. I am not in shape, you say. Good. Very good. Let me see. Who am I missing? ¿Quién me falta? Catherine? I am organized. 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 I am not talk talkative. 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 I am not talkative. Good. Let me see, Mr. Rodrigo. Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. I am sympathetic. Um, I am not. I am not. I am, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> there you have a lot of examples on the screen. Ahí tenemos un montón de ejemplos en la pantalla. Es que no estoy viendo la pantalla. Tío. Ah, that's why. Por eso no veo tu cámara tampoco. <laughs> yeah, es que, sorry, estoy trabajando, pero estoy escuchando. Ok, Mr. Josué Mejía. The microphone. The microphone, Josué. Perdón, yo no lo escuchaba. No lo escuchaba. I am Yuri. <laughs> I am not angry. Okay, I am handsome, you say. Handsome. Beautiful is only for girls, right? I am handsome, you say. Handsome. Handsome. Es guapo. Or you can say, good looking is in general, right? Good looking es como bien parecido. Y eso lo podemos ocupar en ambos casos. It can be for boys and girls, right? Good looking. Attractive also. It's for both, right? But beautiful is most commonly used for the ladies, right? I am, or you can say, I am a beautiful person. That's another form, right? I am a beautiful person. So, una linda persona. So, in this case, <clears throat> here we have uh, some examples, right? And here you have adjectives at work, right? There you have adjectives represented. And here you can say, for example, he is very tall. He's short. Yes, Mr. Josue? Ah. There you go. She's a little heavy, right? She's a little heavy, un poco gordita, right? She's really friendly. They are good looking. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. He is quiet, right? She's talkative. She is serious. He is funny and she is shy, right? Those are the examples that we have on the picture, right? And there you have them represented. I am going to call the attendance. Antes que nada suceda, voy a pasar la lista para que estemos aquí en paz con la asistencia. Okay? Remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Jennifer Tatiana. Present. Thank you very much. Let's go with Jorge Alberto. Present. Thank you. Jose Alexander. Present. Thank you. Josue Mejia. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio. Se me fue a vaciar. Juan Diego. También se me fue a vaciar. Carla Lisette. Present. Thank you. Carla Nicole. Eh, Carla Stephanie. Okay. Carla Stephanie. No está. No está la Carlita. Okay. Catherine Judith. Present. Thank you. Catherine Paola. Okay. Katia Dalila. Leticia Aide. Present. Linda Beatriz. Present. Lucia Fernanda. 
Lucía Fernanda. Por ahí la veo, pero no me contesta. Ok, Lucía Fernanda, estamos aquí, pero no me contesta. Luis Eduardo. I'm here. Thank you. Eh, Manuel Alfredo. Let's go with María Elena. María Elena Galdames. No. María Guadalupe. Present. María Teresa. Present. Mario Antonio. No. Mario Antonio. Let's go with eh, Marlon José. Present. Thank you. Marta Jacqueline. Marta no vino ahora, mire, anda vagando. Miguel Leonidas. Eh, Nelson Rodimiro. Present. No, es mi amiga Il. No, es mi amiga Il. Let's see. Norma Guadalupe. Present. Patricia Maricela. Rodrigo Antonio. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you. And Rosa Alba. Rosa Alba. La vi un otro día nomás que se me ha hecho. Ok. So let's continue. We are going to continue here. Thank you very much for the attendance. Here I am going to keep sharing what we were studying. Ok. Here you have like the different forms, the different... Uh, representations of the adjectives, right? And this is what I was asking you here. If you want to make the sentences that we have here negative, remember that we only use not after the verb to be. He is not very tall. She is not friendly. He is not handsome. She is not talkative. He is not funny. She is not serious, right? She's not really friendly. She's not a little heavy. He is not short. That's the form for you to make them negative. Now, here I have some examples, right, of the questions with the verb to be. And we are going to do this ones in order to wrap up this topic. And it's like, hey, who's that? Who's that? Cuando usamos la pregunta, who's that is quien es él, right? He is a new student. And here you have a part of answer. And it says, I think his name is Shin Ku. What is the question? What's his name? What's his name, right? What is his name? I think his name is Shin Ku. Shin Ku? He's from China. What is the question? Where is he from? Where is he from, right? Where is he from? He's from China. Sir Hat, and it says, I am from Turkey, from Istanbul. What is the question that you need here? Where are you from? Where are you from, right? Where are you from? And the question mark, right? I am from Turkey, I'm from Istanbul. Istanbul is very old and beautiful. What will be the question for this one? Yo se la hice acerca del Salvador. What? Istanbul, what is exactly right what is Istanbul like and there you have the question Istanbul is very old and beautiful my, my last name is Erdogan what is the question here what is your last name what is your last name right What is your last name? My last name is Erdogan. Very good job. And the last ones for us to finish this topic. Here we have, I am going to ask Marlon. Marlon, what is the question that we need here? Hi, John. And the answer is, I am just fine. Perdón, me perdí. <laughs> Hello, welcome. <laughs> what would be the question? ¿Qué pregunta necesitaríamos para la respuesta? I am just fine. Um, 
Was that? Was, mm. was that? Was that? No. <clears throat> si yo le voy a contestar, si sí, estoy bien. Linda, help him. Ayúdeme. How, How are you? Very good. Ya veo que entre todos nos ayudamos. How are you? How are you? I am just fine. My friend Carolina is here. Is here this week. She's from Argentina. Carolina, I don't know her. She's really pretty and very smart. ¿Qué pregunta tendríamos que poner aquí para que me diga? Ah, no, si es muy bonita y muy lista. What is Carolina like? Ajá. What is she? Por la podemos reemplazar. What is she like? She's very pretty and very smart. She's really pretty and very smart. She's 18 years old. What is the question here? How old is she? How old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene? Right? How old is she? She is 18 years old. If I ask you, for example, let me see, I am going to ask Maria Teresa. How are you? Perdón, perdita. Ah, come on. Perdón, Welcome perdón. back. Welcome back. ¿Qué están perdón, haciendo? Perdón. ¿Qué andan haciendo? Es que aquí está lloviendo mucho. Ah, por eso. ok, ok. Yo creí que estaban viendo ahí Betty la fea, porque ya la van a quitar de No. no. Ok. How Hola, are perdón. you? Okay. How are you? I'm, I'm, tengo que repetir esto, ¿verdad? No, no, no. The answer. ¿Cómo me contesta eso? How are you? Uh, I am fine, thank you. I am fine, thank you, right? I am fine, thank you. Mr. Luis Eduardo, how old is Leticia? <laughs> how old is Leticia? She's... Uh, invent, invent. 35 years old. Very good, very good. Todo menos se acepta. <laughs> She's 35 years yes. old. Very good. So, if I say, Jorge Alberto, mire a su amiga Carla Lisette, ahí toda hermosa. Dígame, what is she like? Give me adjectives for her. What is she like? And Carla. Yeah, all beautiful there. Carla Lisette. Jorge, how is Carla like? ¿Cómo es ella? Give me adjectives for Carla. The microphone. She's shy. She's shy? Uh-huh. And what else? Dele otro, otro adjetivo. She's looking, good looking. She's good looking. Very good job, right? She is shy, but she's good looking. So that's the way we answer these questions, right? Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson, look at uh, Maria Guadalupe. How is she like? I asked Maria Guadalupe. Nelson, your microphone. <laughs> it's a <laughs> secret. Yo hablando y nada, se oye. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, Ahí está María Guadalupe, ve. ¡Charán! Hola, hola. Hi, hola. Ahí está, bien. Yeah. Very good. Uh, yes. Uh, se me olvidó para decir, alegre, lo siento. <laughs> voy a decir, voy a inventar, no es cierto, voy a, voy a inventar. She's serious. She's uh, serious, she uh -huh. is, uh, There you have the adjectives. Ahí se lo acabo de poner. <laughs> she's short. Estoy she's short. Lo siento. Okay, she's short, she's happy, and she's serious. Okay, she's short, happy, and serious. Good. But that is an example, right? That is an example of how you use the different forms of adjectives. Linda, there you have... Mr. Jorge Alberto, can you give me adjectives for Jorge? Jorge, model. He's handsome. Uh-huh. He's happy. He's handsome and happy, right? 
con handsome me quedo. <laughs> he is handsome and happy. Very good job, right? So that's the way we use them, right? That's the way we use the different adjectives. Any question, my dear students, about this ones? No, no questions. So if we don't have questions, we are going to move on into the next topic. And I am going to ask you this question. This is a very, very curious question. What is your favorite color and what colors you don't like? What is your favorite color? That is a question. Wait, my goodness. Here it is. What is your favorite color and what colors you do not like? Let's see. What is your favorite color and what colors you do not like? Let me ask uh, Mr. Marlon Mendoza. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Blue. Very good. And what color is something that you don't like? Color you do not like is black. I don't like black. You say, I don't like black. Uh, let's see, Catherine, what is your favorite color and what is one color that you don't like? My color favorite. My is, favorite color. My favorite color is blue. I don't like. I don't like is black. Okay, so you say my favorite color is blue. I don't like black, okay? I don't like black. Let's see, Josue Mejia. My favorite color is orange and I don't like this black. I don't like black, say. Okay. I don't like black. Okay, por si, like si, black. porque si decimos, I don't like is, ocupamos dos verbos. Estamos ocupando don't y is. So in this case, say, I don't like, Black. Jennifer Tatiana. Ponga los eh... colores. Okay. <ríe> me los quito. <ríe> Espera, es que un momentito. Ahorita es como el sondeo, a ver cuáles se conocen. Ajá. My, my favorite color <ríe> is green. Y la otra era. I don't like. I don't like eh, yellow. Yellow, okay. Luis Eduardo, what is your favorite color and what is one color that you don't like? Um, favorite color is uh, gray. Gray? Yes. Gris. Gray, uh huh. Um, color not like is. Uh, Black. You don't like black. I love black and pink. I am I am like the two worlds, right? Yo soy como... No se me ocurría otro color. <laughs> Yo soy como el bien y el mal. Ahí me gustan los dos. I like pink and I like black. So here I have a whole definition of different colors, right? Here I have white, right? Ivory, que es como color perla. Por eso no se mira la diferencia, right? Beige es, es beige, right? boring color. Uh, here we have khaki, golden, coral, salmon, fuchsia, lavender, indigo, maroon. Hey, we have a lot of colors, right? It is curious because some people say, some people say that the ladies can identify all the different colors. And the boys are just like red, blue, yellow, <laughs> green. I don't know. But right, it's like, ay, es rojo. No, pero rojo qué? Rojo salmón, rojo no hay qué, rojo pasión, rojo. No, right. José Alexander. Sí, solo una pregunta. Yes. Eh, para la parte negativa de contestar que no le gustaba tal color, que era I don't like. Pero se le puede agregar, podría ser I don't like the color stuff. Por ejemplo, yes. I don't like the color black. Me yes. Válido. It's, it's okay, but the idea that you mentioned, for example, I don't like black if you are talking about colors, right? If the topic is about colors, 
And you say, my favorite color is blue. I don't like red. Como ya dijimos, my favorite color is, ya sabemos que estamos como en la categoría de colores. My favorite color is red. I don't like yellow, for example. And you say like, I don't like the color yellow. It's like very specific. In some cases, it's a little bit unnecessary to say color yellow, right? Because we know that yellow is a color, right? So in that case, you say like, I don't like green, for example. I don't like brown. But the thing that I was correcting is like when you say, I, uh, for example, here, I do not, I don't like is black. Por ejemplo, alguien dijo esto. I don't like is black. And in this case, you cannot say is because you are using don't and like, right? I don't like. I don't like black or I don't like black color. That's Entonces, even better, right? Se puede es... especificar con la parte de color y está fuera de contexto, digamos. Si decimos de color black, es como... It's very unnecessary. Like, I don't like black color. It can be, it's possible. And it's a lot better, right? I don't like black color. I don't like yellow color, right? I don't like indigo color. Used to be specific. Okay, good. So from all these ones, see, we have a lot of like cyan, you have aquamarine, orange, magenta, navy blue, royal blue, charcoal, pea, olive, lime, maroon, and we have all the different colors, right? In general, we have all these ones, right? But the most common, the most common colors that we have are the ones that I'm presenting here. Red, pink, orange, yellow, light green. Light es para hacerlo claro, okay? Light green es como verde claro. Green is the normal green. And dark green is verde oscuro. Right? And in this one, you can have light blue and dark blue, light red and dark red, right? But in this case, for example, you cannot say dark black, porque no hay más negro que el negro. <laughs> you cannot say light black, porque es gray. Entonces, no va como con todo, ¿verdad? no es con todas las opciones. But you have light blue, blue and dark blue, purple, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green and dark green, right? And in this one, I have here the question that I was making, right? Esta es la pregunta que les estaba haciendo. What are your favorite colors? My favorite colors are red and purple. And in this one, you say colors, porque es plural, are red and purple, right? My favorite colors are red and purple. And for sure, if you can specify about the things that you are wearing and the colors that you have, you can also tell me my suit is blue, the pajamas are red and white. Just to take one example. Vamos a ver, vean ahí todos los colores que ustedes andan puestos ahora. Vean todo, todo, todo lo que cargan puesto. Tell me the colors that you have on. ¿Qué colores cargan puestos? You can say, I have orange, blue, and black on my shoes. What colors do you have? Norma Guadalupe, what colors do you have today? ¿Qué colores anda puestos? Um, dark blue. Dark, dark brown or dark blue? Azul oscuro. No, dark brown. Ah, café oscuro. Mm -hmm. Dark brown, and what else? Y solo es dark brown. <laughs> Only dark brown. And the shoes? Los zapatos, mm. las chanclas, los tenis, la, no sé. Ah, este, black. Black, very good. Leticia, what colors do you have on? I have black and red, mm -hmm. white and blue. Okay, very good. Catherine, what colors do you have on? I have dark blue and red. 
dark blue and red. Okay, very good. Maria Guadalupe. Um, blue. Uh -huh. um, se puede decir multicolor. Eh, multicolor. Okay, uh -huh. the, the, the pants are multicolor. Very good. Yeah, I, that, that's that's nice. Josué Mejía, what colors do you have? Multicolor. I have multicolor. Multicolor shirt. Multicolor shirt, red, blue, white, and dark gray, and black. And black. And black. Okay, black. good, very good. Miss Jennifer Tatiana. What colors do you have on? Um, <laughs> ¿Cómo te vería con tu <laughs> Ay, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo, cómo? Se me fue la ¿Cómo señora? sería que le podría contestar? Ok, what colors? ¿Qué colores carga puestos? Si carga algo blanco, amarillo, uh -huh. rojo, no sé. Eh, light blue. Uh -huh. um, orange. Uh -huh. sure. Only that. Ok, light blue. Um, and... Under. Uy, sorry. Orange. Orange. I like blue and orange. And orange. Okay, very good. Well, my dear class, I am going to yes. stop right now. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you very much. And tomorrow we are going to talk about clothing. Mañana vamos a hablar de la ropa. Okay, so be ready for tomorrow. Have your best outfit. <laughs> Have a beautiful night, my dear students. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.